Today we're going to look at a couple of different ways you can remove the background from your images. A little hint here, if the trace panel is not working for you, you're going to want to move on to the editing points. Hi, I'm Brenda Lambert. I'm a TJC licensed instructor for Silhouette. You found your way to Silhouette Success and I do hope that you're going to join our little crafting community. I have talked about editing points in the past, but today we are focusing strictly on removing the background. So if you are ready to learn something new, let's do this. I have brought this design in from Creative Fabrica. It is a JPEG image with a solid white background, and we are going to work today on removing the background. We can do this in a few different ways and we are gonna start off with the trace area. We're going to select trace area and draw out our box. Missed a little bit over here on this side. And let's adjust the threshold a bit to see if we can, can't can get most of the image outlined with just the threshold. I think that's about as good as we are going to get with that. So let's go ahead and trace and detach. We can move the background away and that's pretty good, but I wanted just the turtle. I don't want the background with the bubbles and all of that other stuff. So let's work on getting this background removed by using the editing points. We're going to double click on the image and you will notice there are four editing points on this because it's just a square we are going to use the editing points to crop this image. We're going to bring it in closer. You can see that that is not working really well. It's cutting away parts that we need. You can click anywhere on this to create new editing points and drag them around so that they are just on the outside of the image. I like to start off by creating a rough outline. I'm not being very precise at this point. We'll go back and fix some of these editing points once the main outline is complete. Just remember that this process is going to take a few minutes to complete. You want to bring some patience, but know in the end that the results are completely worth it. I keep grabbing the actual image instead of the points, so the image is jumping a bit there. Now I have the basic outline complete. Let's zoom in and take a look. You can see some of the areas are not very precise. We're just going to go back in at this point and start tidying things up a bit. I'm going through and making sure that the outline is there, but none of the outside white lines are there. You can be super precise with this method, or you can get kind of close and call it good enough, depending on what you are using the image for. If you finish with this step and decide it's still not good enough, you can put a black background behind this and zoom in one more time and make sure there aren't any leftover white edges. But again, it just depends on exactly how precise you want to be with your project. Now, I am not going to go through the entire process again, but I did want to show you that if you want to start off with more editing points that are closer to the actual image, you can use your eraser tool. I have mine set at 0 .500, and you're just going to start erasing kind of close to your image, but not really touching it. Now I have cut away the large white background. We can right click and delete that, we can double click on what's left over and see it has made all of these editing points for us. We can zoom in here. Let's zoom in again. And it does look a bit pixelated like this, but you can get a really good idea of where you need your editing points to be. Double click, brings up the points, and then you just drag them over. 
and it might start to look kind of like a mess, but you can all you also have the blue squares on the nodes to further adjust your cut lines. So you just bring them down in here, grab the blue box, and just tilt it slightly until it looks good. But honestly, I think that's a lot more work than it's worth. If I had to choose, I would probably go with the first editing point method where I did the quick outline and then went back in and refined it. If you are looking for more information on the point editing panel, you're going to want to catch this video next. There is so much more that you can do with the editing points.